All right, welcome to Smells Like 90s Rock. This is Sheila. I'm waiting for my loyal sidekick, DJ Poor, to come in. I'm sure he's going to make it in just a minute. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to give you some great music, hopefully. You never know. I'm actually in charge tonight, so if you're as scared as I am, that's good. Usually Hot Toddy handles all this, the business and whatnot, and I just kind of come in and, and push buttons and, and do nothing really. But he's not here tonight. He actually went on vacation, so we miss him, and he left me in charge, which is a really foolish and scary thing. So hopefully DJ Poor will come here. I'm not very good at talking to myself. I can talk for hours when I have somebody to bounce off with and make eye contact. He's here. Thank you, Jessup. Yay, I'm here. Yay. Yay. That was rough. It was rough? I, talking to myself is rough. Wait, how, how long were you on the air? I'm like, not gonna wear headphones. Like it's one minute. One minute. That yeah. was rough. Sixty holes. I was like, was "How rough. am I gonna fill this? How am I gonna entertain people with just this, me?" This was Henry's chair, wasn't it? That I'm sitting in. Yes. Yeah, it feels abnormally high. So. <laughs> Henry likes it high. Yeah. Well, he's six foot five, four. Yeah, yeah he's something used like to that. that. He's enormous. It's fine. And like for us, we're just like, uh, "Can I get closer to the ground, please?" <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, my feet just barely touch the ground. Just barely. That's great. Yeah, that's why I didn't sit in it, because I was like, no. <laughs> it's not so bad. I feel like a, a child in a, a giant chair. <laughs> it makes me feel bad. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. The big news of the week. Have you entertained Pokemon Go yet? No, I, are you one of those people that's joyless and doesn't care? No, I want it No to. joy. It's, it's, it's a sore spot for me. Why? Wait, were you into Pokemon at all? No, I wasn't, but that game okay. seemed like a lot of fun, and I could definitely play that with Adrian. Yeah. So I was definitely. like, oh, yeah. I have apparently too old of a phone. <laughs> it happens. Do you know it how happens. I murder phones? Yes, I know you murder. So I had like it a happens. newer phone, and then my brother gave me like w two steps away from the phone I had, and I was like, it's still fine. It's a smartphone. It works. I get on the internet and everything. And I go download it, and it's like, yeah, you can't have this. I was like, what? Really? It's not that old. Oh. Yeah, I'm on Jelly Bean, and you need Lollipop or Kit Kat to run it. What? <laughs> That's the Android operating system. Okay. All right. Never mind. So it's a sore spot for me because it seems like everybody's having all this fun and I'm getting left out. Are you playing it? No, I'm not. Oh, you're I'm joyless. Just not. I, I just haven't. I don't know. You have a new shiny phone you got for Christmas. You yeah, absolutely just, have no reason to I, not I, be playing it. I what, don't know. I what else don't do you have to do with your time? I don't, wanna, I don't really feel like playing it. It looks like a lot of fun. It look, the one funny picture that I saw was, I think it was Doc. Mm -hmm. Doc Summit, uh, he posted a picture of a rat attack that he saw in his living room, and he was pointing a gun at it. And I just thought, like, oh, that's an accident waiting to happen. Like, wait till his dog accidentally walks into and frame. Boom, like, yeah. he's like, whoa! <laughs> Chips? Oh, no! I missed you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, um, no, I'm... I'm yeah, he was pointing a Glock at a rat attack. <laughs> I have no words. Uh, what? I think that that just... Points to gun control is definitely needed when people are pointing things at fictitious creatures. Yeah, I, I could see that. Like, you pulled your Glock out from what you're... <laughs> from a fictional phone game? From a fictional animal on your phone? Yeah, but, like, where was it? In your couch cushion? <laughs> it was, like, in the middle of the living room. Yeah, just, to be. just chilling. Just, just hanging out. Well, it was no, kind of Glock. in a... No, Glock. Where do you get the... Oh, the Glock. Like, wh no, where are you storing I was going to say, the Ratatat was in a kind of a defensive stance. It oh. looks... It looks scary. It was going like that. <laughs> so I, if it was actually real, I could understand the, the need to um, pull a weapon on it if it got loose in your house. But, but it wasn't real. But it wasn't real, no. Shame on you, Doc. <laughs> shame! Well, not shame, but be safe. <laughs> Lock up your guns. Don't leave them sitting in the cushion of your couch. No. No, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> So Hot Toddy's not do? here. No, he's, he's still not. on vacation. That's, that's a good friend. I'm always amazed when he trusts us with the show. Why? He always has fun with it. He, well, he, he always enjoys listening to the show after he hasn't but been I'm in. like, I don't even trust myself. Yeah, but <laughs> well, you and me seem to have a, a very handy way of derailing the show. Um, we, yes, we go off on yeah, weird things. On and crazy he, tangents. He just comes back later and is like, Gun violence hmm. and Pokemon. Those are great, those are great <laughs> and topics. And prison rape. And there prison we go. Rape. See, like that. That's got to come up at some point. It always does. Oh, oh yeah. Speaking of prison, did I ever tell you this <laughs> joke? Like, no. this is like the first rape joke I ever heard in my life. 
It was told to me by my aunt. <laughs> oh, wow. Cool aunt. But, um, I guess. <laughs> but um, we were cleaning out my grandma's house because we were moving her into a nursing home. And um, Why are you she... trying to start out so dark and gloomy? <laughs> The sadness. What? And then there's what? The that's, that's a very it's common really occurrence for a lot of families. Like a bad person, but go okay, ahead. well. You were getting. <laughs> anyway, she, my aunt found like a lot of old photos, and she was starting to reminisce. And she found one photo of an old boyfriend, and she was just ta- talking awful about him. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, "Hey, like, you're pretty. You're probably pretty in high school. Why don't you sweet talk a guy into kicking his ass for you?" And she's like, "Oh, well, he went to prison, and there, I'm sure somebody did." something to his ass and i was just like i laughed but that joke stopped me in my tracks it's like whoa <laughs> like auntie like, went there damn damn that was more or less my reaction yes that's uh I, my 15 year old was just wow <laughs> was just, <laughs> my 15 year old was just like <gasps> 15 year old self was just like wow how do i respond yeah pretty much i was just like damn how did you grow up you just Nonchalantly telling prison rape jokes about ex boyfriends to a fifteen year old. That's I was I was old enough to process it. It was fine. Still, I remembered it's it's forever seared into my memory. Yeah, you that you were able to process it, but something. it was a little scarring. No, I'd seen I'd seen other scarring things before that. Mm. I'd seen the music video to Turn the Page by Metallica. Oh yeah, I saw that when I was like eleven. That I, damn. Yeah. I showed it to you one time. You. It's rough. Yeah, we should have given, I should have, like, had a Xanax at the I ready. 